Hey yo, what's poppin? Today we are currently back with another video. Since this is a channel where I express my opinions and I don't care, I'm just doing anything for fun. We're gonna we're gonna talk about a little bit of professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is one of those things that I grew up on for a very long time. I love professional wrestling, and it's just it just touches the soul. Favorite wrestler currently today is Kenny Omega. Simple, but 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 that's enough of the chitter chatter. Okay, we came to talk about business. We we need I need to get something off my chest. I'm not gonna make this a very long video. I just want to say this. For almost three years straight now, wars have been going on. WWE versus AEW, AEW versus New Japan, New Japan versus TNA. Let's talk about this, right? It doesn't matter. Like what you like, it doesn't matter. I feel like the people who complain about what wrestling is, how wrestling runs, are a bunch of idiots. Idiots. They're all idiots. And it's okay. Have your opinion. That is totally fine. But when you start hating and start debating with other people, now it's cool if you can debate like, oh yeah, Kenny Omega is better than Hangman Adam Page. Okay, cool. That's a good debate. It's like everybody has an opinion. Okay, cool. But when you're just constantly, and it's not about just having an opinion, but when you start sending threats to people, telling people, no, you shouldn't be thinking like that, then we kind of cross the line. And I feel like that's why some people are just kind of slowly going away from wrestling and the escape it's in right now. Nobody can tend to stick to one thing it's always something to complain about it doesn't matter if you watch wwe it doesn't matter if you watch AEW. who cares another thing yes we do have people from wwe that is currently in aew but I don't think people realize that these people also came from different indie professional wrestling shows. You think Brian Danielson came from WWE? No, he came from Ring of Honor. Majority of the guys came from the indies are currently in AEW, like Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong. So when you say, oh, nearly half of the WWE roster is in AEW, you sound like a fucking idiot. You think people like Samoa Joe came from WWE? Tuh, hell no. He came from Ring of Honor. And I'm pretty sure these guys don't give a flying fuck. Papa H just seen what they could do and said, oh yeah, we want y'all to come with me. No, but seriously, I feel like the WWE wars and all that stuff need to come to a stop. It's just, it's getting out of hand. Now, I'll be honest, does some of these promotions put out the best content? No, no, they absolutely don't. Sometimes I could cringe, but who cares? I move on with my day and I still enjoy the show, you know what I mean? So why should you? Why do you complain on your phones all day? <laughs> it's making me sick. But Benji, this is not good content. Wrestling is not what it used to be. Well, duh, it's not going to be what you used to like. Everything is changing. You think they can have random death matches on a weekly show basis like it's EC fucking W? No, they can't do that, man. Somebody's going to die out there. You get around that one AEW hater and they don't even start calling AEW superstars professional wrestlers. They just start calling them XWWE stars. <laughs> I don't know. And that's why a lot of people don't take wrestling serious as now as they used to do before. Because now everybody just sees it as some fake jumble bullshit. See, a person like me can respect what wrestling has became today and what wrestling is. I still have love for the business. I still watch every show every week. I still love hearing about what's going on. I'm loving the new superstars that are currently coming up. I'm loving the storylines. I'm loving how everything is being put in place. You can't stop me from not watching some good old wrestling. Like, why do we have to compare? It's like Game Wars. How people used to compare PS2 with the Xbox, uh... What, what was around? Sorry, I forgot. Fuck it. Like, the PS3 and Xbox 360, I used to have both at the time. And when I used to go to school, that's all I used to hear is, Oh, I think the Xbox 360 is better. But, oh, I think the PS3 is better. Now it's the PS4 with the, the Xbox Ones, with the Xbox One series, with the PS5. Like, which one is better? I think it's a stupid thing. But me, you know, I just enjoy games. I have no opinion about what is better. I think every console has a way of expressing itself in a certain point that makes it great. Like on the Xbox, the Xbox has games that you can't play on PS5 and the PS5 has games that you can't play on the Xbox. Get over it. And then it's like the Nintendo Switch and the Steam Deck. Those are two different consoles. You, 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 you can't compare those. It's like they just need something to talk about so they just start debating and complaining about other stuff that they think they feel is wrong. Who cares? You think that person who is running those shows care about your opinion? No, they care about money. But back to wrestling. And I'm going to leave this part for the end of the video because it's people out there 
those type of people you know who i'm talking about when i say it they love to get on twitter reddit and sexualize the female wrestlers you can watch women wrestling i watch joshi wrestling from time to time these women put their whole life put their whole body they like to look good it's okay but when you start going on reddit going on instagram twitter start clipping and cropping videos to show that one physical feature of that female wrestler body part you're fucking weird like how desperate and how lonely you have to be to be online saying oh my god she's so hot oh my god she's so hot i'm, I'm pretty sure all of those guys are like discord moderators or something <laughs> but it's just like it's so creepy and then the amount of people who are like this take rhea ripley for an example yeah the dominic and rhea ripley mommy poppy thingy is pretty cool but when you start taking it a little too far making up these fandoms and making up these situations in your head and putting them on twitter about how this would go it, it, you just look like a loser but um yeah i think that's all i wanted to say just need to get that off my chest um yeah but anyway benji commentary is back with another video <laughs> yeah and i hope everybody's been good i've been pretty good and i'll see y'all in the next video benji commentary out peace all that love all that good stuff i'm out <laughs>